Hey guys, what's up? My name's Morgan. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, go ahead to hit the subscribe button. If you're not, pull up a chair. Let's talk about Uma Beauty. Okay guys, so we're gonna start off with a fresh face. I have moisturized my face. Now I'm going to use my Ole Erickson, Henriksen Truth Banana Bright Face Primer. So I've tried the Uma Beauty Foundation probably like three or four times. I wanted to have all of my thoughts composed before I did a video on it. Um, so that is why I'm doing the video now. So with the Uma Beauty line, you have these four like tiers, I think they're four. You have my tier, which is Honey Honey. And so once you know what your tier is, and it's like the cap levels, you can pick up your one, two, and three step of the whole face line. So the first step is the Uma Beauty um, foundation. Step two is the Woke Concealer, and step three is the um, Contour and Highlight Stick. For the step one, I am the shade T2W, and here is what the packaging looks like. You guys have all seen this already. This retails for $39. Um, yeah, it's one fluid ounce, standard $39, there you go. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in two pumps here, I'm gonna take my sponge and go ahead and apply it to my face. I think the match is a pretty good match. Okay, so I just wanted to show you really quickly, here's half of my face with the one layer of Uma Beauty on, and here's my face with nothing on it, so you can see that it is a medium to full coverage foundation. Okay, so there is one full layer of foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and put on a second layer just to kind of give myself more full coverage. Okay, there you have it. There's one full layer of foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my concealer, which is the T1 Honey Honey. Um, and I'm going to put this underneath my eyes. And then once that's underneath, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows off camera. Okay guys, I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera. I'll be right back. Okay, my okay, my eyebrows are on. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and blend out my concealer. Wait, wrong brush, wrong sponge. I do like the concealer. I think it is very blendable and creamy, and it is a good undertone. It's warm enough to where I don't have to necessarily conceal afterwards. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set with my Sasha Buttercup powder. Okay, so everything is set. And now we're gonna move on to step three, which is the double take, the concealer, I'm sorry, the contour and the highlight. So here is the contour and here is the highlighter. Let's go ahead and take the contour. The one thing I do like about this contour stick is it is creamy. Um, the Fenty Beauty Match Sticks, you have to kind of warm up on your hand before you use them. This one you don't, you just kind of go right in. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this out. I'm going to use just a random sponge that I have sitting here because I don't know where my other sponges are. So I'm just gonna use this. Okay, now that we have the contour on, I'm gonna go ahead and set the contour with my Fenty Beauty uh, Sun Stalker Bronzer and Caramel Beauty. Kinda really deepens up that contour and bronze. Okay, and then for the other side of that, we are going to use the highlighting stick. So you just take it and you place it right on top. You want to highlight and pat it in. And it does give a really soft kind of dewy highlight. You can see that. So 
now that that is on, I'm actually gonna scoot up a little bit and I'm gonna turn this down a little so you can see actually what the skin looks like in kind of real time. Um, so a little note, a few notes on the skin really quickly before I move on to the eyes. Um, so I have two, again, just a reminder, we have two layers of foundation on and then the concealer and the uh, setting, I've set the concealer with Sasha Buttercup. The contour sticks, you know, we'll just move on to the eyes. We'll do the whole, we'll give the, I'll give my whole opinion at the end. So we're gonna move on to the eyes. I have the Allure palette right here. Um, these are the colors in the Allure palette. Really beautiful colors, really, really pretty. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do like a simple, do we want simple? Let's do a little dramatic, let's do a little dramatic. So I'm gonna take a, my Morphe M433 and I take Romantic, which is this color right here. I'm just gonna sweep this right in my lid. That is in my crease. I'm going to take Osun, which is this beautiful, um, this beautiful yellow color. I'm gonna place that on my eye lid. I really like this color a lot, you guys. It's very pigmented. Okay, now that I've built up the Osun, I'm going to go in with Lush, I think. Yeah, let's go in with Lush, which is this green color right here. Same brush. I'm gonna pick up some of that, and I'm gonna put it right here. Back in with romantic and kind of lighten up this area. Okay, um, so I think I'm pretty much where I want to be when I want to add glitter. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of glitter. I think I'm gonna add mystical. So I'm gonna take a flat brush like this, wet my brush, I believe. Yes, let's wet my brush. I like the mattes in this palette, but I'm not a huge fan of the glitters. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with, with Enchantress, which is the really bright yellow glitter. And I'm gonna pack that on the inner corner. These are very, very glittery, if you can't tell. So I'm really not a fan of the glitters. Um, I think they're a little too hard. They're a little too powdery. Um, of the glitters, Lady of Gold, which is like an actual more satin with a duochrome white pearl gold finish is probably more my speed. But here I did try the glitters. I feel like they're okay. They're very powdery. They kind of are rough glitters and they do fall out everywhere. So there's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this look with a little bit of setting spray. And I'm gonna do lipstick and lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so here you have it, the final face. This is the full face of Uma Beauty. I did the foundation, concealer, contour, lipstick. This is lipstick in the Eartha. This is the matte, um, I don't remember what it's called, but this is the matte one in Eartha. Love the shade Tracy, but they were sold out of that one when I went there to get this. This, So this is the final look. I have on lashes from, who are these from? House of Lashes, these are the Boudoir Light. And yeah, this is the final look. It actually looks really good. Um, but let's get into what I think about the actual products and whether or not I think you should spend your money. So I'm gonna go down the list of how much they cost really quickly, just so you guys can kind of be aware of how much this collection costs in case you weren't aware already. So the foundation, is $39, the concealer is $25, the contour stick is $40, a double take, and the eyeshadow palette is $44. Uh, the lipsticks are $24. So all in all, the full face will cost you a roughly, I think when I bought this, it cost me roughly $160, $180. Um, do I think it's worth it? So here are my thoughts. The foundation, it does not wear that great throughout the day. It looks fine right now, but I'm already noticing some cracking around my mouth, things that I wouldn't necessarily get with other foundations that I would have. So 
I am saying foundation probably hit or miss. You really don't need it. If you have a really good foundation that you like, I think you could stick to that without really, um, there's nothing fun, like, nothing new here. Um, and also I don't think it wears that great throughout the day. I noticed um, the few times that I did wear it, trying different setting powders, different primers, all that kind of stuff, um, it would settle and kind of separate in my nose area and right here, it just kind of would look like kind of a mess right around my mouth. So I wasn't a huge fan of that and that was after probably six hours of wear. Um, the concealer, which I, actually really do like. I think the concealer is really nice. I think it lays a lot better than the foundation. Um, I do notice that you have to set it. So if you're not into setting your concealers, some people are, some people aren't. I kind of prefer not to set my concealers in the summertime because I just want, I don't want that kind of uh, cakiness or that kind of powder on my face. However, if you don't mind setting the concealer, I think it is actually a really beautiful concealer. I think it is a really, really nice concealer. It does conceal very well and it's a good shade for me because it's not too bright. So it's subtle enough for me to get away with every day and it's not too bad. The double take, I'm going to say this is a hard pass for me um, at $44. Is that what I said? $40? At $40, um, it's a hard pass for me. The reason is because I'm not getting what I feel like I should be getting out of this. It's a little too red for me. Um, there is only one shade in the Honey Honey range. I'm not feeling like the highlight really does anything than a translucent like my um, other highlighters do. It's not that bold, it's not that bright. It's very subtle, which I like, but I also have other subtle highlights that I prefer. I prefer a um, powder highlight anyway, so I'm not really a huge fan of this one. Um, also, it just kind of, the, the, the contour kind of disappears in my opinion. Once I once I blend it in, it kind of disappears. Um, I feel like I get a much better highlight with a powder highlight, um, contour with a powder contour. Just not really here for this. However, the one thing I will say is if you're on the go and you want something quick and easy to throw in your bag, this is actually a good idea. Um, I just am not a fan of it, especially for the price range of 40. If this was closer to 20, I'd say, why not? It can't hurt to have it. But 40, I'm gonna say no. The eyeshadow palette, I actually really do like the eyeshadow palette. I like the matte, not a huge fan of the shimmers. The sparkle, uh, the glitters are actually true glitters and they're very hard and there is fallout. I'm not a glitter person, but I think, you know, if you wanted to try glitters, you could probably find a cheaper palette to do that with. $44 for this palette, a little pricey in my opinion, especially for the quality of the glitters. The only thing that I really think is worth it in this whole collection are the lipsticks. I think for the $24, you get a good color of the lipsticks. They have a lot of nudes, a lot of berries, and I actually like the packaging. It's a magnetic closure to you. It feels heavy and luxurious, and $24 isn't a bad bet. Those are my thoughts on this collection. I know a lot of people really liked the collection. I think it is a very pretty collection. I think the packaging is beautiful. The way that they tiered the shades is really, really nice and very helpful. It was very easy for me to find my shade. However, I just think the quality of the actual ingredients compared to the price really aren't worth it. If I was gonna buy one other thing besides the lipsticks, I probably would buy the concealers just because I feel like it's a really good concealer and it's comparable to um, a ColourPop concealer or even maybe even like a Morphe concealer. Uh, the price point is a little high, it's higher than those, but if you wanted something from this collection, I think you can't really go wrong with these. But that's all I have for you guys right now. Um, hopefully this was helpful for some of you. Um, hopefully this doesn't come off as bashing the brand because I actually am here for the brand. I love the aesthetic. I love the fact that they are paying homage to African culture. All the lipsticks are named after some very amazing black pop icons, black historical figures. Um, so I'm definitely here for it. I'll be excited to see what they do in the future with their future seasons and what comes out next from them. Hopefully they can up the quality of their foundations. Um, but for me, the face products just aren't really doing it for me. If you're gonna buy anything, like I said before, concealer, maybe the eyeshadow palettes. I haven't tried the other two, but I imagine the pigmentation of the mattes is on point. It's just the glitters that have an issue. So if those things don't bother you, go ahead and pick up the eyeshadow. But other than that, that's all I have for you guys today, and I will talk to you later. Bye.